Hi guys, I'm Nagadarchan, and welcome to my reaction for Yojo Senki, episode 7. So, from so far what we've seen, Tanya and her battalion are very successful. She really knows how to lead them, what to do. Despite she never, like, before this whole stuff, she never did it before, but like, yeah, I mean, she lived in this world already. She's been reincarnated, right? And in her previous life, she had some knowledge also, so there is a big advantage. Despite this world as a little different, I, I do really like it. And I think previously at the end, we saw that she's going to some kind of... Uh, what it was. It seemed like higher-ups talking about something and she was someone there. So maybe they are going to talk about uh, what do they want from her, what next is she supposed to do. Yeah. So I'm quite excited. And I guess I'm going to start it right now. Is it working? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I mean, yeah. Her duty calls. That's actually the worst thing about... Well, worst. One of the worst things <laughs> about wars. Like, families getting separated and members of families dying. Yeah, war sucks. Yeah, oh, they go. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's... <laughs> imagine little children knowing that war is horrible. So, like, the best present they can give to their parent is a freaking newest weapon. That's messed up. But sad. Ah, oh, this opening. <laughs> I really love it. It's also like one of the one of those really good openings. Because visuals also play a big role in it. Okay, I'm sorry, I need to turn up the volume. It's just been too quiet. <laughs> Okay, um, I must skip it, even though I really like the song. Yeah, just done a little bit of skip. And back to here. Okay, command strategy conference. Yeah, that was the word. Okay. So she's providing strategy and they are listening. I mean, I wonder why it is. Maybe because they are there? So they don't know, they know what's going on? 
Also, like I said, Tanya has advantage. Well, yeah. Are we sure we would be able to win in those in this time? Yeah. She has more knowledge. Yeah. And then you will get exhausted and then... I mean, I understand these people are like higher ups. <laughs> this has nothing to do about cover cover this, but using your brain, sir. So why are you spilling on such a beautiful table? But I guess she has no respect. I think she tickled some truth there. Oh, she also has a private dog with these. Hmm. Oh, what a nice carpet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really like the carpet. How come? At least this man is not stupid. Hmm. Mm, the kite. <laughs> She's so small. <laughs> I can barely point there. Ah, oh, but now she's thinking even more. She has idea. Oh, she figured it out. I mean... Well... I mean... The history advantage. He's impressed. Oh. Okay. I mean... Okay. The Battle of the Fjord. I'm kinda lost. I don't actually know if... Uh... Ah, my history memory is quite not good. Hmm. Okay. So... Don't be underestimating your enemy.
Yeah. Good sense there, sir. I mean, that's a naturally what they would think, right? But if you are the enemy of these people, assuming what they would naturally think because of your actions and surprise them, yeah, they don't have enough people here. Okay, sir. Well, hmm. So that would be silent. They would be silent. Yeah. <laughs> if they can take out Tanya, it's fucked up. Fucked. Everyone is fucked. What is that? I mean, despite this plan seems very advanced for the year, they are still not as advanced that they would be able to, like, find out this vehicle is here. That would be just too advanced for the Zara, despite they are having magical stuff. Okay, so they're attacking there. I mean, yeah, doing distraction. What is happening? A little bit fishy, eh? Something must be happening. Well, something is happening. <laughs> Sneaky attack. Yeah, they are definitely doing a lot of destroying chaos, distractions, and such. Yeah, I mean, that's their Im most important defense, so destroying it, yep, they're fucked. That's some crazy alterer, though. Yeah, the reach is probably extremely high, that's why they were depending on it. And attacking from air like this, they did not expect it at all. I mean, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone probably would see. Yeah, it's very silent and very effective. You would hear planes. And they are big. <laughs> mm, try guessing why cannons. Maybe because they're pretty good defense against what exactly? Come on, dude. You seem like a clever fella. You might be able to figure it out. Oh. I mean, no. Uh. Yeah, they would be quite a big problem. Because they have the same advantages as them, right? No, they do not. Mm. 
Wow, this is very like close time spaced. Of course. Training, of course. I mean, war is also a battle of information, misinformation, and all these kind of things. And not losing your face, right? Ouch. Come on, guys. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Because if you leave just at least one out, I mean, it would be harder for them, but still, big advantage. These poor people defending themselves, though. <laughs> yeah. Down. Yeah, I need to finish the job. Oh, he was back there. I was thinking he might, he looks a little bit familiar. I mean, try guessing. Oh, dude, you're doing a big mistake. I understand you're angry, but... Doing stuff out of emotion in such situation. She's not even impressed. But like, yeah, she doesn't want to fight if she doesn't need to. Hmm? What was that? Oh, their job is done, so she can go away. Yeah, this is what they've been doing, sir. Why did not... Oh, these, these ships, what? They look very advanced. I mean, the, the cannons also look very advanced. I don't know, the technology is so weird. <laughs> Well, like I said, I, I'm not very good, like, at knowing what kind of technology was at what kind of age and how it exactly looked. Yeah, you have no chance. No chance. Now. Yeah, job done so they can retreat. You should have tried to realize why they're attacking the guns, your like biggest point of defense here. But now they destroyed important things here. Dude, come on, use your brain. Don't be rash. Oh god damn it. Where are you going? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh. Oh no. I understand he's emotional and he has the right to be emotional, but like, sir, sir, this is basically a suicide. Only if some crazy lag would interfere. No chance. Yeah. Dude, you should have come back and maybe tell 
what was happening. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> because his enemy so wide should matter. Seriously, man! Seriously, I understand your concerns. But like, maybe you should have handled this better. Seriously. Well, and they have it easy. Easy peasy. Yeah, supplies and rail railroads because rails kind of trains going supplies coming in with it. Yeah, they needed supplies, so they have plenty of now because they took someone's else. Well, someone is not going to be happy in that country. But now they are going to be focusing there. Focusing their attention. Oh, these places are so beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they might have. It was a very clever idea. Very clever idea, actually. But still, be prepared for occasions that something might still have happen, you know, because there might be some crazy psychopath <laughs> on someone's else side thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to do this crazy plan and, you know, destroy your win. <laughs> Even if it would be kind of maybe sounding a little bit crazy and stupid, if it will work, it will work. Okay, skipping the ending. Seems there might be post credits scene actually. There's still quite a lot of. Um. Oh my god, my laptop is like. Too hot. Okay. State out of Arkansas. Okay. So we are in the United States now. Oh yeah, they were coming here. A lot of people were actually... I mean, it always happens people are running away from war, right? And when the whole freaking Europe is in war, there is not many places where you can go. Mm. Yeah... Well... Welp. She was trying, really trying, but did not help. Yeah. Sadly. Sadly that happens. It's a war. People die. Okay. So, uh, I actually really do not remember. I mean, if something like this, like, exactly like this happened in any kind of world war, like, with the same countries. Because... Only landings I know of is on Normandy, <laughs> but like, I don't know if there were any other. Probably, I guess they were, but like, I really don't remember. Yeah. Well, but it was really cool. It made sense, right? And uh, the enemies weren't prepared enough, right? Um, they did not suspect anything 
like fastly enough. I don't know, like if my enemy starts destroying cannons, which are extremely important for my defensive, I would probably like, you know, think something is fishy and maybe they are trying to do something because without my offensive, whatever which will come from the sea, I could not defend against it. But maybe they were thinking that would be such a crazy move that nobody would do it, right? Yeah. Or they are like preoccupied somewhere else, so why would they do it? I don't really know. I mean, it's not that easy. There are like a lot of fakeouts or like confusions, right? And sometimes they will just put someone else, like distractions. Yeah, <laughs> so it's kind of hard. It's not that easy. Strategy is not easy. Yeah. At all. You need to be very clever. And sometimes you also need a little bit of luck. <laughs> on your side. Yeah. That's true. But I really liked this episode. It was truly amazing. Despite we had like this man and his family right so he was the dude who was back then i was not kind of thinking he looks a little bit familiar but i did not remember it yeah so he died his family said that's just a war <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> he wasn't such an important character you know that we would watch for so many episodes that i would feel extremely sorry for him dying that's just how war goes and like I wasn't connected with him, so yeah, I'm just like, yeah, that's what happens, sadly. If like someone else would die, we know well. I mean, I would say we know Tanya the most. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't really know. It would need to make her death if that will ever happen. Might have happened. Really in a specific way for me to feel sad, like really sad, but yeah, it just, I need to be connected to a character to really like feel something significant for them, and it was kind of sad, but like, yeah, that's what happens. Sadly, that's a fact, but I'm pretty excited what are going to be ne doing next, yeah, what are going to be doing next, because now they kind of want it here, they have supplies which are like super important, extremely important thing in a war, right? Because without supplies you just cannot do anything. Your freaking soldiers would die of hunger. Also like our army, like weapons and if you have like later on um, gas, oil, oil? Gasoline or something. I don't know. How was it called in English? Um, weapons everything which is needed bullets this kind of things if you don't have enough of it You you just kind of cannot war the war <laughs> If you don't have supplies because like yeah, it's cool to have tanks and it's cool to have freaking airplanes But like if you don't have materials which runs them you cannot use them right that's why destroying like uh, factories which produce these or things which are moving these from one place to other is very important in war. Yeah. So I'm going to give this episode 8 out of 10. I really like it. Yeah, I'm enjoying this like strategi strategical shit and like showing how it proceeds and how it works. I still kind of think that the enemies were a little bit dumb to not notice something is fishy. You know, like, I don't know, like, why they're destroying the cannons? I wonder. I really wonder why. Maybe they have a good reason to do that, right? Sirs, people. Well, and like that dude, I understand he was emotional and like this whole situation, but still, 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 maybe you could have do something better, you know? Than just running to your death. Hmm. But it's difficult in situations like this. Also, I really wonder what Being X is doing. 
Because, like, we haven't seen him for quite a long time. Like, yeah, he appeared for time a little bit, and we know that, like, he's orchestrating some shit behind, right, behind the curtain. But, like, I want to know more of him. I hope he will appear again. Please. I'm intrigued about his relationship with Tanya and what he's planning, like, what he's thinking of this, because, like, he seems to care a lot. So, like, I want to know. Yeah, so I guess that's all. Goodbye and see you next time.